I'd like to show you an example where tilting the coordinate system makes sense. Tilting the coordinate system with respect to uh, vertical and horizontal. So up to this point in time, um, the convention is to point the y-axis vertically and the x-axis uh, horizontally. And the standard in your book is to point the y-axis vertically up and the x-axis horizontally and to the right. Um, so with problems like this one where we have um, a, a puck sliding up a frictionless inclined plane it makes sense to tilt the coordinate systems and so what we're going to do is we're going to have the Y pointing as indicated in the diagram and the X um, axis the positive direction for the X axis is now um, aligned with the surface of the plane and the positive direction is pointing up the plane. And so let's say that the axis, uh, that the inclined plane is inclined at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal surface. <coughs> and um, the way we're going to analyze this problem is we realize that there's an acceleration of gravity pointing straight down. Um, so this is conceptually jumping ahead a little bit, but just take this as a given. And uh, the um, actual acceleration of gravity uh, to a good approximation is 9.80, but we're going to uh, simplify it even further and say that uh, g is um, 10 meters per second per second pointing down. And uh, the um, the insight, um, the way to analyze this problem is to uh, is to take this um, downward vertical acceleration and break it, break it up into two components, one that is perpendicular to the plane, to the inclined plane, that's just, that's this g perpendicular that I have here, which is g cosine theta, and so, and so if uh, the angle of inclination of the um, plane is theta, then the angle between the um, vertical acceleration and the perpendicular component of the vertical acceleration to the plane is, is also theta. Um, and then the other component the, uh, of acceleration is the component parallel to the plane. You can see that's pointing, that's pointing down the plane, parallel to and down the plane, anti-parallel to the positive um, upward um, direction of x, and that's g sine theta. Um, okay, so the scenario is a puck is given an initial velocity of 4 meters per second at the bottom of a frictionless inclined plane that uh, has an angle of theta with respect to a horizontal surface. We're going to take g to be 10 meters per second per second, as, I, as I've already said. So um, three questions. Uh, first of all, how far up the plane does the puck go? Um, and so I'm going to use the um, kinematic equation without time. Um, I In red, I've added the um, x subscripts indicating that we're analyzing motion parallel to the plane um, uh, consistent with our coordinate system here. So v sub x squared is equal to v sub x naught squared plus 2a sub x times uh, the displacement in the x direction. Solving for the displacement, that's uh, uh, vx naught squared minus vx squared minus vx naught squared over 2a sub x. Um, so vx squared is the velocity um, at the top, that's 0 meters per second squared, minus the velocity at the bottom, 4 meters per second squared over 2 times a sub x, and a sub x is minus 10 meters per second per second times sine of 20 degrees. So that corresponds to the magnitude of this arrow, of this arrow right here. The negative sign bookkeeps the fact that it's pointing in an anti-parallel direction to the positive x direction. So um, I have a negative over a negative. Um, my units on the top are meters squared per second squared. My meter, um, newtons, uh, units on the bottom are meters per second squared. And so that's going to give me meters um, consistent with the fact that I'm solving for a displacement. And so that comes out to be uh, 2.34 meters. Um, that the puck will slide um, up the plane. Question two, how long does it take?
for the puck to get to this topmost position? Well, in that case, I'm going to use the uh, vx equals vx naught plus ax sub t, a sub x t equation, and I'm going to solve for t. t is equal to v sub x minus vx, v, v sub x naught divided by a sub x, which is 0 minus 4 meters per second over minus g sine theta. Again, I'm using the magnitude of this g parallel here, bookkeeping the proper sign. So that's going to give me minus 4 meters per second over minus 3, minus 3.42 meters per second squared. Um, and that is 1.17 seconds. That's how long it takes to get to the topmost position. Question 3. What is its velocity halfway from the topmost position? So I'm going to use, again, for the second time, the um, equation that does not contain time. Um, and if you notice here, when I solve for v sub x, I do get a plus or minus sign. Anytime you take a square root, you're going to have uh, a choice here. And if I plug the values in, 4 meters per second for vx naught, um, minus 3.42 uh, um, meters per second for um, g parallel, I get plus or minus 2.87 meters per second. All right, so three questions. Uh, first of all, what is the significance of the plus and minus signs in question three, which we are attributing to this um, v sub x that we're calculating? Question two, how far up the plane does the puck go if theta is equal to 30 degrees instead of 20 degrees, um, assuming the same um, four meters per second uh, v, uh, v, vx naught? Question three, if the puck is placed three meters up the plane, and if the plane is inclined to 20 degrees, how long does it take the puck to reach the bottom of the plane, and what is its final velocity? A couple of questions for you.